Hey guys, what's going on? It's Max here, and today I'm bringing you guys a Black Ops 2 video on the new arms race game mode that was just implemented onto Black Ops 2 today, uh, I believe April 30th. So this game mode is pretty much exact same thing as TDM, but as you know, you get 100 points normally in TDM for a kill, and in this you get 150. So basically, I think just the whole point of this is just so you can get your kill streaks more. So there's um, definitely some more kill streaks up in the air when I'm playing this. I've I played it quite a bit recently when it came out today, and uh, there's quite a bit of kill streaks that come up in the air, especially a lot of UVs and stuff like that. A lot of the lower kill streaks. I'm going to be talking about some tips today real quick in this video. I think I went like 39 or 4, something like that on Nuketown using the silence vector. I believe I have fast mags on it as well. So uh, in this game mode, it's pretty much TDM. Uh, I, it, I wouldn't give you guys any other tips besides the fact that there are going to be a good amount of kill streaks in the air if you were got if you guys are playing someone decent or you have like really bad teammates and they're just feeding them kills so I would definitely recommend running EMP that'll definitely help you guys out a bunch just because uh, especially if they get kill streaks you can take it out with the EMP or they can't even call in any sh kill streaks at all if you have an EMP up in the air that's very helpful also as well as an EMP nade which will take out uh, their kill streaks on the ground stuff like sentry guns and uh, other stuff like that and also uh, uh, what could be good is using a stinger or uh, whatever it's called the FHJ in order to take out kill streaks because there's going to be a lot of those in the air stuff like escort drones stealth shitters stuff like that so you could take it out with your uh, your stinger and your FHJ whatever it's called and uh, so basically in this gameplay I was running uh, VSAT dogs and swarm it is actually really easy to get this so if you guys want to get uh, dogs and swarm and get a lot of kills I would definitely suggest trying to play arms race it, it takes a little while to get your VSAT but I think it's around like five or uh, sorry six or seven or five kills to get a VSAT uh, in arms race because you get plus 50 for a kill so it's pretty quick to get uh, in a VSAT once you get the VSAT it's pretty much over you can get your dogs and swarm from that keep cycling it through it's a very good setup and uh, you guys should definitely try it out if you guys ever have uh, trouble getting dogs and swarm in uh, other game types like domination or regular TDM I definitely suggest trying to play arms race and you should be able to get a lot of kills in this I think I dropped 40 kills in this and I only got like one set of dogs and swarm so it was pretty sweet uh, so that's that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know any thoughts on arm, on arms race and the idea. I kind of like the idea just because uh, it'll help people get more kill streaks and just uh, help people do better in general and getting more kills, stuff like that. But uh, I wish they kind of thought a bit of thought it of uh, I can't even English right now I wish they put more thought into it be just because all they did was literally copy paste the the playlist and put it into a separate game type and just added 150 points per kill instead of 100 but uh, that's just my thoughts I'd love to hear your thoughts on it in the comment section below thanks so much for watching if you leave a like I'd really appreciate that subscribe if you're new and I'm signing out peace